Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Corey. And today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cover something that we see a lot of questions about, and that's how to clean your Blackstone griddle. We're gonna do it today because we just finished up breakfast and we got scrambled eggs on the griddle. And it's one of the worst things there is to clean off of the griddle because it's just a mess. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to scrape off anything solid that we can. I don't want all that in our grease strip. Okay. This right here is why I say that eggs is one of the hardest things to clean. No matter how much you scrape it, it's still there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up because it is always easier to clean a griddle when it's hot. So we're going to let it warm up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm starting to get some heat here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some water down here. You can see where those bubbles are. That's where there's some food residue stuck there. That'll cause that to bubble up and it helps lift that stuff off of the griddle. And then I throw some paper towel down and we're going to try getting all this egg. Egg is just one of those things that is going to frustrate you trying to get it off your grill. And if you're going to use paper towel, I suggest using a good brand paper towel um because cheaper brands will tend to get lint on your griddle especially if uh your griddle is a little sticky from oil and stuff but if you're steaming your griddle to clean it chances are you probably don't have the stickiness to worry about i know people like to clean their griddle different ways some of them just like to scrape it and put oil on but the most effective way to clean it make sure you're getting all that old food residue off so it doesn't get rancid on you is to steam it with just a little water that's all it takes you don't have to use anything soap or anything like that the heat helps kill off any bacteria little pieces of egg here and there now this is definitely the reason why egg will frustrate you because you want your nice clean griddle and the eggs like to hang out around the corner or something and uh, just put that little bit of steam on there steam is the best way to clean just about anything that's why uh, the wives love the uh, steam cleaners for hardwood floors and things like that it does very good I know people some people say oh don't put water in your griddle if you're drying out your griddle, it's not going to rust. If you're doing it hot, it's not going to rust. It's going to evaporate. It's going to dry out. And you're not going to have any rust problems because once we're done with this, we're going to put a thin coat of oil on it to store it for the next time that we go to use it. Whether it be tonight, tomorrow, next week, or whatever, we want a little bit of oil on there to help with that. So now that we got it, we got it pretty clean. There's a couple, maybe little specks of uh, egg hanging out somewhere. But we're gonna put just a little bit of oil. We don't want it real thick. We want a thin layer on everything, just like you did when you seasoned it. We just want to give everything a nice thin layer. And I like to have the griddle still on at this point. And I even, while I got a little bit of oil there on the rag, I go ahead and touch up the outsides just like when you seasoned your griddle. You don't want to see any pulled oil on your griddle because that's where you'll get some stuff that's really sticky. 
And even there you can see there's still a little egg residue but it will come off it'll disappear and we're all oiled up we're ready for the next cook or to go ahead and store it like I said a lot of people clean their griddles differently than we do so if you do leave it in the comment below how you clean your griddle and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until next time we'll catch you in the next video